All right. Without further ado, let's jump into today's Friday Fun Day brought to you by our friends at Mailboxes. Don't forget, you can get two years of free membership with Mailboxes. Just go to mailboxes.dm slash the daily hour. Yes, slash the daily hour, and you'll get be eligible for two years. It's getting close to the holidays, and we know what you all like to do during the holidays. Yep. So <laughs> exactly. Go over to mailboxes.bm slash the daily hour. Make it happen for yourself. But it's Friday Fun Day brought to you by our friends at Mailboxes. And check this one out. Check this one out. You know your Bermudian if you have what appliance or furniture in your home. You know your Bermudian if you have what appliance or furniture in your home. That's the Friday fun day. Oh, it's a difficult one. What What do you... I'm thinking about what I see in other people's homes as well. I'm like, man, I've never seen that in another Bermudian home, let alone outside Bermuda. But you know your Bermudian. You know your Bermudian. If you have what appliance or furniture in your home? So... <laughs> I know you think you got me jammed up, right? <laughs> what you got? So initially, I was like, "Wow, what about the like wooden crates that hold like the fancy china, the red in china and stuff?" But mm-hmm. I was get that unique to Bermuda. Then I was like, stumped thinking, "Well, what about the trash bags, the reused um, grocery bags under the sinks that everyone has, but that's not furniture or appliances, right? Okay. And I think that happens a lot in the U.S. also. That, it might be a black people thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But then I came up with the cedar wood craved oh. things like clocks or vines no. or things. I don't want to say, you know, but sometimes people who have any prisons used to make them. Mm-hmm. Um, obviously, because of cedar, it's unique to Bermuda. It's an appliance. You know what? You know, I mean. I didn't even think of cedar beams or nothing. Yeah. Cedar something in your home, um, a piece of furniture. Audience, have you seen, I have never seen cedar in a home outside of Bermuda. That's a good point. I, I mean, I know cedar was popular in Virginia as well, but anybody know? Like, that, I, I, okay, Larry gets one point. Larry's up one nothing, right? Larry's up one nothing. So Larry says, you know you're Bermudian if you have some sort of cedar in your home. You know you're Bermudian if you have some sort of cedar in your home. Now, that brings the question. Do you, audience, have cedar in your home? Do you have cedar in your home? You have cedar in your home, there? Upstairs, my daddy has a cedar clock. That's why I thought about it. Do you have cedar in your home? Yes or no? Quick yes or no. Do you have anything cedar in your home? Um, David Michael Wilson says, I don't have anything cedar related in my house in Bermuda in Georgia. Yes. Hmm. It's Bermudian. That's not good call. Right. Uh, right. It does. It, you know. No, 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 no. You're right. It's a Bermudian home. Yeah. yeah. So, Bermudian home. Um, so Michelle White says, yes, she has something cedar in her home. Okay. And Suzanne Ingham, Suzanne Ingham was asking, like, you mean China cabinet? Yes, China cabinet. Yes. Said yes. The name for the China. Yes, China cabinet. Sorry. I, I always thought this made a seem so old because my nana love hers, man. That little cabinet she put the stuff in. Um, Janine Richardson says, yes, has cedar in her home. Okay, so cedar, we would say, is something unique, a unique piece of furniture. But what else, audience? What else would you say is a unique uh, piece of furniture or appliance? Like, what unique... What you know, you're Bermudian if you have what appliance or furniture in your home. You ready for my answer? Yeah, because it's, it's not many answers out there. It's the, the, the audience isn't giving us a, a okay. one to be like, ah, oh. so it's not many answers. Okay, so I'll give you mine. Now, when I go into so many different homes, right, I always notice picture collages. I don't see picture collages like in homes outside Bermuda. I see pictures all over the house, but I've never seen collages like old people st- stand by those coll- picture collages in, in Bermudian homes. Yeah. I've never seen picture collages outside of Bermuda. I've been in a lot of homes outside of Bermuda. Okay. All right. 
I, 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 I or least, would you say that's a Bermudian thing? You know, you're Bermudian if you have a picture collage in your house. Well, old Bermuda, I should say. Yeah. Um, OJ Barnett says, uh, kerosene heater. <laughs> yeah. My wife's grandmother has one and she lives in West Virginia. So. Okay. Okay. So not <laughs> That was a thing, man. That was a thing growing up because of, um, especially the kerosene um, candles, like yeah. for um, hurricanes. Yeah, yeah. Latoya, um, Layana, sorry, Layana Barnett says, uh, there's propane gas tops for hurricanes when you lose lights. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're, we're unique. Washboard. I haven't seen a washboard since I was like five years old. They still have those in Bermudian homes. No, I'm not. I'm not saying that it's something that people still need to have. But what made us unique? But I haven't seen one in so long. Yeah, I think I still have one. You do? From my granny. Yeah. I, the last time I saw one was in my Nana's pump room. They probably still have it. I just haven't had a need to go out there. Um, all right. So let's go to the, again, audience. Keep it coming. This is Friday Fun Day brought to you by our friends at Mailboxes. Um, we're having some fun. This is the one that stumped them, Larry, because usually everybody's got answers, right? You know you're Bermudian if you have what appliance or furniture in your home. You know you're Bermudian. What makes us unique? Suzanne Ingham says, shark oil bottle. Yeah, I think I've, I've never heard anyone outside of Bermudians talk about shark oil. Yeah, that's so unique. It has to be us because I don't even agree. I've never heard anyone else talk about shark oil. She says wood floors, but you know what would make me disagree? The amount of horror movies I've seen where, you know, they're walking in the house and the wooden floors, the creeks and stuff. Yeah. So I don't know. The cedar, yes. I, I think we'd all agree, cedar. But again, I'm waiting for someone in the audience to say, no, I have a home outside of Bermuda. Or I know someone that's not Bermudian outside Bermuda who has cedar. Um, bookend, cedar clock, cedar with carvings, with beach sand in it clay mixing bowl that my granny used. I have a lighthouse with windows to put over a candle. Uh, yes, collages, kerosene lamps and heaters. Yeah, I'm, I'm telling you, man, I've never seen a, of all the homes I've been in in the US and I've been in many and I mean, I mean, I've been invited into many. I haven't just gone without permission, folks. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, you know, people start rumors. But anyway, um, I can honestly say I've never seen a picture collage in a home outside of Bermuda. Not saying they don't have them because collages are popular. I mean, they were a social media thing at one point. Yeah. And I think it came popular again with the digital ones where you can kind of yep. put up a frame and it go like that. Yeah. But obviously, that's not what you're talking about. Nope. 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 I, I can't. I only see a digital one right now. I, I can't picture what you're saying. Yeah. Can someone, who, someone in the audience, if you can take a picture of a collage that you have in your home right now and send it to us, because Larry don't know what we're talking about. My, my Nana had one for the longest. I, I'm, I'm not quite sure. And I remember growing up always asking, who's these people in the picture? Because, you know, some of them had passed away already and so on. But it was a picture collage of like different family members and so on. But yeah, collages used to be big, man. Um, you know, you're Bermudian. If you have what appliance or furniture in your home, uh, WKD Lama says, Cedar ashtray, but no one smoked in the house. Hmm. Yeah, we definitely had things for decorations. Yeah. Yeah. Sean Smith says, this is not furniture or appliance, but moon gates in a house. <laughs> we uh, can include that. We can include that. Got one. Yeah, you, you have one right at your steps. Uh, well, I don't mean I don't mean to tell your business like that, but isn't it at your steps? No. Mm -hmm in the entrance to my parents' living room. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, yes, you do. Yeah, yeah. My, Bermudian, I didn't know it was Bermudian until I started working for Bermuda Tourism, you know? Yeah, my grandfather had about had three, three of his houses. They all have it. Okay. What's the symbol of a moon gate, audience? Yeah, no clue. Yeah, I, I think that's one that one unique Bermudian thing. Agree. It definitely made me chuckle because a lot of houses that my family has <laughs> had moon gates. Okay. All right. Um, what else you got, audience? What else? What what let's go over to Instagram, see what our Instagram friends are saying. Uh Boco265 says kerosene oil heater. So everyone's got the kerosene. Everyone's got the kerosene. What else? It is Friday Fun Day brought to you by our friends at mailboxes. Again. 
Don't forget, go to mailboxes.bm slash the daily hour. You can get two years of free membership on us. Um, hey, free. Can't don't get no better than that. Um, but let's answer today's question. No, this is not a piece of furniture or appliance, but you know you're Bermudian. If someone in your family had a Subaru J10, you know what that is? You remember the J10s, right? Yeah. This this one in particular. My mama had one. This the this the car when you saw him coming, you ducked. You know what the Subaru J10 is. <laughs> mama had the white one. She had the white one, right? She had a white J10. Man, that I was like, that little Mr. Bean car. No, let me not talk about mama. I'm sorry, mama. I'm talking about the car. I'm talking about the car. But you know your Bermudian if someone in your family had a Subaru J10, baby. You did. You do. Definitely. And, oh yeah. You, 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 Somebody in your family had a Subaru J10, right, Larry? I can't recall where at this moment. Tomorrow. Come on, Larry, man. I don't pay attention to all the stuff. I just paid attention to my data to make sure that I knew where I was supposed to be. So you didn't have a J10. You didn't have a J10 there. No, we had a Colt. That was the other one. Yep, 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 yep. It's a bitchy Colt. Yeah. Uh, see, why are you laughing at me? Don't laugh at my the Subaru J10, Nicole Hassel. She laughing. Um... All right, so let's see what else we've got. Tiff, Tiffy Painter says, when I was a kid, my parents and aunts had a, what's that, porcelain panther in the living room? Uh, not sure if that was Bermudian. No one has this. Any, what is that, Tiffany? Uh, it's like a piece of art. That's, yeah, like an art, a little small mini statue. Okay. Probably could, uh, explain it better. However... I think that that wasn't a unique to Bermudian thing, porcelain um, items. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to Google that. I'll Google that. Maya says she thought Moongate was like love and unity. Um, okay. Well, thank you. Thank you for that. Uh, David Mike Wilson says Moongate symbolized good luck in marriage. Okay. All right. Gotcha. I like this, I like this audience. Keep it up. Yeah. Yeah. Suzanne Ingham says, we always have pictures all around the edge of the mirrors, collages. I have a cedar moon gate I uh, carved out with uh, long tails in the center of it. It broke. I had to glue that bird back in there. Uh, I'm okay. glad we were able to make the glue work. Welcoming arms, says Hadley and Swan. What's welcoming arms? I don't know what that is. Oh, like when the mom, a piece of uh, a piece of furniture's carved out and it just has arms like oh wanting to welcome you you never seen that i've seen cedar um welcoming arms i'll have to see it to to to, to it's yeah. a theme i think i won this game three nothing okay um, everyone keeps you know bringing up this cedar theme jamal yeah yeah you started the cedar thing Helene swan says read j10 jh you or something now, come on audience you know somebody in your family had a subaru j10 you know <laughs> you know don't don't play um, uh, Suzanne Ingham says, my mama had a four tons. Uh, that was one solid car. Oh, that, that sounded like a long time ago. Um, Jackie Eve says, not an appliance slash furniture, but towel display that you cannot touch or use them to dry your hands, man. Don't you dare. <sighs> oh, uh, Christmas time or something. When, uh oh, when the holidays came and when you knew you had company coming. Don't touch it. Didn't I tell you that? And you know me, I, I, was like, I, I was that kid. You tell me don't touch. Why well, they don't want me to touch this? And um, go dry the dishes with the display yeah. towels. Mm -mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'm like, this is a towel. It's for no, you don't touch that. Yeah, 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 yeah. We definitely. Is that a Bermudian thing where we just put stuff out for decorations, not to touch? I wouldn't call it a Bermudian thing. It's definitely a black uh, people thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you black people is something else, man. I ain't one of you all. Um, Shikarena says a picture made of shells or sand. Yes. Okay. That's the Bermudian thing. Yeah, you all are coming with it. See, I thought this was gonna trick you up. Uh, and Angeline Butler says welcoming arms is the way our steps to porches were designed. Okay. Yeah. Even the um, back to the shells. Even just like shells for display right mm -hmm. but i guess if you go in the caribbean and other parts they probably have shells for display okay. too all right um charles hf the second he said he said i said multiple dehumidifiers earlier is that a thing outside of bermuda <laughs> i mean you know you you 
You're probably right. Yeah, it should be in South Florida. Man, it was bad down there. Um, Sean Smith said, pink sand with seashells in jar. Yeah. The pink sand's probably more unique than just the shells in the sand, right? I would agree. Yeah. Uh, OJ Bernat says, uh, Bermuda glass blowing uh, sculpture. Okay. That was big at one point. Yeah, very, very popular. Um, Sherry Vanderpool says, my mama had a that son 120Y hatchback. See, that's close to that. That is close to the Subaru G- J10. And Sherry, be honest. My mama pulled up on that. You had to look around like, get in like nobody saw you, right? Because you was probably running around school. My mama drive a BMW. Nah, I, I, I knew who I was. But I was like, no, my mama, I'll walk. I, I, yeah, I'll walk. <laughs> welcome to arms. And you walk through the door, you got welcome to arms. You got a hug. Oh, okay. We, we appreciate that. Media Maya says, my family whom has shells and sand on the ceiling. So this is unique. This is unique. Um, Charlie Vanderpool says, what about the plastic map in the hallway that the other side was prickly? Hmm. See, Shara's going back to the 30s when she is around. Not when we, <laughs> <laughs> Not when we came up in the, in the 90s. Like, uh, special wooden lick stick. Wooden spoon. I just got some trauma. Um, Larry, you got spanks with the wooden spoon? No. No, you got the belt. You got the belt. I got, I got the wooden spoon, the belt. You name it, bro. I, I, yeah. But the wooden spoon and me, we had a, we had a, we were very close. We were very close. Um, is that a Bermudian thing? The wooden spoon and children and discipline? Well, uh, yeah, because you know, a lot of people don't even really use it no more, right? Yeah, that had to be a Bermudian. Go get the wooden spoon. I heard that a little too much as a child. I did. Um, Tanya Cheeseman says. Hedlene's mom's hugs are welcome in arms as well. Oh, look at the love in the audience. Um, Suzanne Ingham says, my mother had conch shells on her mantle above the fireplace. That seems more Bahamian, right? Um, all right. So Sherry Van Peele says, yup, with a stick holding the back up. Yup, there you go. That's the car. And Charles H. Jeffs II says, they didn't have BMWs in Bermuda when Sherry and I were in school. Oh. Wow. He just dated you, Sherry. <laughs> He took us back. Anyway, let's bring in Taylor Dill for Daily Album News Break. I want to see what this old, I mean, this young fella um, has that was unique in, you know, his space. Because I, I tell you. I think Taylor is going to give us one for the ages. Oh, you know it's coming. This, 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 this is his type of thing. You, you know it's coming. So, folks, get ready. Don't forget. Don't go anywhere. We're, we have a very important conversation with Orban at From Home coming up as well. Oh, boy. Taylor, let me prepare for this. Studio J, this is how it normally is, all right? All right. Morning, y'all. Uh, see, now you 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 raise the stakes too much. Like I, I all I thought I was shark shark oil. <laughs> That's all I've got. <laughs> no, I'm serious. I've been racking my brains. That's, That's all I've got. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. But uh, yeah, disappointed. you have disappointed me, Tayo. I was like. You know, once I came up with my banger, I'm been stumped. But I was like, you know, Tayo is going to come out, and Tayo is going to have one for the ages. No, no, I, I've been thinking and thinking because it is a, it, like Bermudians are unique in a lot of ways, but but we forget that fundamentally we're just regular people. You know what I'm saying? So so thinking about something that's unique to our homes. Yeah. Oh, oh, maybe black rum. Psst, there you go, Tayo. See, no one said black seal. Yeah. Actually, yeah, that's that's that, yeah, no, that's my one. Forget the shark oil. <laughs> black rum, yeah, black sea. You know, you know what's crazy? Even like back in the day, when you would go into some of your church family members' homes, they would even have like black rum. Like, and I'm not saying like every church person, like I don't think my pops, they don't have it in their home, but I'm just saying back in the day, that's for company. You, they would have it. Like, it would just be there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Interesting. Yeah, I'm proud of myself. Thank you, Tayo. See, I needed the pr- I did need the pressure. Apparently, hey, I, man, honestly, man. I, I felt like I let myself down. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, black black seal. That, that's that's the one. You, 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 you have black seal in your home, Tayo? No, no, I'm a bourbon drinker at this point in my life. <laughs> Larry, you have black rum in your home? Yeah. I don't. I don't have. You know what? I have. Um. Well, is it called fake rum? Like non-alcoholic? Like it's called. 
Why are you making fun? You know I do mocktails, bro. Why are you doing it? I'm I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just because, like, you know, you don't eat real pizza. You eat bread with sauce on the top, and now you have the nerve to have a bottle of like not rum. Exactly. What you what? call it? What you call it? Numb. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> you know, now he's making me share this story. I wasn't gonna share. So Tay, Tay, last yeah. night, right? So Sancho shared this video in the group, really nice, where she, it was World Homeless Day yesterday, right? Oh, yeah, 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 it was beautiful, Shaw Maddox. Video, the Maddox wanted to go out and, um, her son Maddox, they wanted to go out and uh, help homeless folks, right? So, I, you know me, I, I, I wanted to order out last night, I didn't feel like cooking nothing, so I um, went on DoorDash, and these folks, like, the food's only like $12, but it's gonna cost me $30, because you won't want to add all these taxes and fees, right? So I'm like, I ain't doing that. So I have Papa John's right across the street, so I let me get a pizza. So I said, so I walk over there, get my pizza, order my pizza. I go over there, and this light takes a long line, so time, so it's literally like 10 minutes. I get all the way back to my apartment, and what do you think's on my pizza? Cheese. Of course. So I walk all the way back over there. I said, oh, um, you got my order wrong. I said, oh, what's wrong? Open it. I said, see right here, no cheese. Oh, I'm sorry about that. I said, no, it's all good. You know, mistakes happen, whatever. Right? True story. And so dude's like, oh, um, you can keep it. I'm like, I don't eat cheese. I got Then I thought, I remembered Sanchez's message. It's like, you know what? We go outside. So I felt bad because I had to wake someone up. It was a homeless person sleeping on the bench outside Starbucks. So I kind of, just, I said, hey, hey, hey. So I woke him up. Once I got my pizza without cheese and I woke him up, gave him the pizza, right? Said, hey, look, do you want pizza? Yes, yes. So thank you. Thank you. My, my, my point in sharing that, right? I don't like stuff like that. I'm going to be honest with you because it doesn't solve their problem. It solves right? their immediate problem though. It gives the, bingo. It doesn't solve their overall problem, but it gives them an immediate hand up, right? And what I saw in that, without Sancho saying that, I probably would have left the pizza there, right? But when I left there, I was like, years ago, because that whole exchange took 45 minutes out of my life. Seriously, to make another pizza, go walk back or whatever. And I would have been pissed and angry, like, what, they got my order wrong? And I really don't. Like I'm just in a different space, but someone's mistake was another person's blessing. And yeah, I mean. man. There you go. There you go. And, uh, I, 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 I thank Sancho because, you know, we, we share a lot of stuff in the group and Larry would tell you sometimes it's just goes off the rails on politics and stuff, but you never know how, what you say to anyone on every, any given day may be able to help someone so far away that you will never meet or see in your life. So appreciate Maddox and Sancho for that. And, um, yeah. Thanks for bringing up my pizza. And yes, pizza without cheese is the bomb. I got a garden fresh pizza without olives and no cheese. And it was good. So take that. Let's get a bread with some ketchup. I ain't worried about you. I didn't want to say it, Larry. I didn't want to say it. I know, but to be honest, too, I've, I've had it. Um, and it's, it's well. No, I'm sure it tastes fine. I'm just disputing the definition of the pizza. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Delicious.